We're back. We are back. We're back again. <laughs> with the back again. good man over here. <laughs> with his teenage reading Ninja Turtle shirt on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You already know who he is. You know who I am. And we're back again. Back again. For the one hundred time. I don't know. For the very first time. <laughs> don't worry about my right check or right wrong. In the house um, again. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um we're having a different discussion. Or it was pretty much the same type of discussion as far as with video games and things of that such. Um, Lamar, you can take it away, man. Take okay. it away. Let me. So let me know. You know, I think we, I think we did pretty good last time when we talked about current games that we were actually playing. Um, I think I'll start it first this time if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah. So, so do you think? Um, I've been playing the greatest game, Starfield. Now I'm not playing. Uh, I've been Starfield. playing this game called Age of Mythology. And it it's a remastered of a game that's been out for a while. Um, it's a PC RTS game. Uh, so you're playing with these Greek mythology characters like Zeus, Athena, Hercules, and uh, so on and so on. Um, ain't got Kratos on. Nah, they ain't got Kratos. Kratos. <laughs> <Olympus>. <laughs> they do have God of War though, so <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, Big been, Aries. Yeah, I've been playing it on the ROG in the back, of course, you know. Gotta keep my green going. But um ROG it up. Yeah, it, it's it's a really fun game. I've been playing it through game Xbox Game Pass and interesting. The story is kind of whatever. I, I notice a lot of times with with these RTS games, I don't really care for the story. I just just want to do my entire war and build my town. And yeah, it's been taking some time. I think I've been playing it for about five hours. It came out yesterday. I started playing today. Okay. But uh, okay. What what games have you been playing, or what game have you been playing? Um, I recently jumped on this game called Sun and Bone, but I'm not too far into it. Okay. Sun and Bone. <laughs> <laughs> saying it right son and bone I, it's like uh i guess it's like a cross well hmm. i guess well I, cross it's like serious sam okay i don't okay. know if anybody's me anybody's familiar with serious sam they know what i'm talking about i show you age torah <laughs> and doom yeah 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 and doom <laughs> those three games is what i get from this game and the okay. reason why i say Turok is because you're fighting against dinosaurs. Okay. And you're pretty much, and then, you know, like those three gangs, you're pretty much like a one man army. You know, uh, uh, Doom, you like a one man army. Uh, Turok, one man army, all, and um, Sirius Sam. And they're sending, like, I got to a part where they're sending a bunch of enemies at you, and oh. they're a bunch of dinosaurs. <laughs> but the thing about it, though, um, from what I played, like, it's a low key um, company. I forget the company name, and I'm sorry about that. But like, I, I like the game, but it has its issues. Okay. It has like, like pop ins. Um, I haven't fell through the floor yet. Okay. Like some game that people have been playing, <laughs> have been posting. <laughs> um, some of the animals or whatever the enemies you fight, they'll be charging at you, mm. and you'll be you know shooting them, and then they'll sometimes they'll just stop, and they'll just stop, and they just sit there, and I'm like, what is going on? Like it has. It's like it has bugs in there yeah. that are kind of plaguing the game, but it's a smaller company. Okay, so it only indie. costs twenty nine ninety nine. So I'm not really, I'm not. It ain't it ain't like paying sixty seventy dollars for it, right? You know. Right. So, but other than that, I'm enjoying it for what it is. Um, I, as soon as it dropped, I seen the trailer for it. I said, let me go on and buy it because okay. I was like, oh, Turok. I thought about Turok Doom and. Serious Sam, Serious Sam, I didn't, I've never beaten. Mm -hmm. I've gotten far in it, but that game, I don't know, some of the stuff kind of creeps me out of that game. <laughs> it's like, you got to fight in underwater. I ain't, I ain't like fighting under yeah. water and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, the game is called uh, Sun and Bone. Okay. Um, don't confuse it with Skull and Bone. I think it was, what is it, a, a yeah. pirate ship game yeah, called Skull, Skull and, Bone, and Bone, something like that. <laughs> the, yeah, the game is called Sun and Bone. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's on the PlayStation Store. It's only twenty nine ninety nine. Okay. Um, like I said, I forgot the company's name, but they're a smaller company. So I try try to support um, the indie. smaller company because they're trying to yeah they're trying to do their thing and you can kind I don't know I can kind of excuse some of their mistakes right. other than big 
corporations that been doing gaming for 20, 30 years. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Everybody has, there's no such thing as a perfect game. Right. Don't get me wrong. Right, right. You know, you can't make it. It's going to have something, you know. Right. My thing is when you release a product and you're charging X amount of money that you should have, you should at least catch a, a good majority of your issues. You can't just be sending it out, you know, and it ain't been, you know, ain't properly cooked. You know, so it, you know it's a tough situation. Yeah, <laughs> it's a tough yeah situation. You know. But gaming is not making a video game is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. I yeah. can never say that you I can't get say up it's in here. I'm about to get up here and make a better game. I, I can. can't do none of it. <laughs> 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 no, no. That means you're really good at math. I'm, I'm poor at math. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, Sun and Bone. That's what I've been playing right now. I'm um, I'm gonna play it a few more. Uh, I'm gonna try to get through it and see what else like, i'm gonna do some recordings <laughs> or whatever i gotta do i'm gonna post it up yeah. and just you know try to get my 30 dollars worth <laughs> definitely definitely and <laughs> you know hashtag save your no hashtag support your indies but yeah i yeah. think i want to move on <laughs> to our first topic state of gaming and it's interesting that you brought up the price point of how gaming is 30 dollars mm-hmm. Suicide Squad. Worst of money ever spent. But, man, we we have uh, (laughs) a, I guess, probably the worst game that came out this year. And it's it's kind of a hot topic to talk about. Concord. Before you go into that, (laughs) is there like a record that was broken? Yeah. <laughs> For the way they went down? Yeah. You you are absolutely right. Uh they broke the record <laughs> For the shortest game ever, <laughs> what was it? Was it like two days? Yeah, days? it's been. Um, they they announced what like six days in, six days in, they announced <laughs> the shutdown, and it it's the the shortest game lifespan ever. As a matter of fact, I think it's going to shut down what in a couple of days. <laughs> mm. This game has the lowest player rating ever. <laughs> somebody was saying that uh I've heard somebody say that uh that PlayStation might be a genius for this because I don't know, it sounded far fetched to me, yeah. but he was saying like this might have been a thing to kind of introduce that Astrobot game. Okay. Okay, I can. They kind of like I can put see. that out there right. and it mess or um, purposely whatever, and then here come Astrobot, right. they come to save the day, yeah, and that would be the game of the year. <laughs> yeah, like you know, so is that gonna beat out Black Myth Wukong for game of the year? Because I, I remember they kept saying hey, it was a potential game of the year. Hey, potential game of the year. Black Myth Wukong. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, know. I you know, I think yeah. it's funny with Black Myth Wukong because it, it shows you two scales of of popular games i guess black myth wukong has the highest player count so far on steam mm-hmm. uh, i believe in and just in yes. one day it's like over a million players um oh wow. whereas concord has the lowest 34 players <laughs> <laughs> so i do not say two players <laughs> <laughs> well this is just counting That's the players <laughs> This is just counting the players on Steam. We 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 don't okay. we don't know officially the amount of people playing on PlayStation and okay. you know it's kind of weird with consoles. Sometimes they don't tell you the numbers that you really need to know until years later. And I, I just think this kind of proves <laughs> another failing live service game. And it seems like a lot of companies are starting to try to go in that route and make more live service, mm-hmm. which potentially could be hurting a lot of gaming for all of us. I mean, I didn't hear anything too bad about this game. So it's it's, it's kind of mind boggling what exactly is keeping people from buying it. It's only $40, sure. but it's a live service game. So I guess people look at it. Why would I pay 40 bucks on this new game that hasn't proven anything when I can just go play Overwatch though? Yeah, and 
you know, that's their competition is Overwatch and um, Apex Legend. You know, yeah. and then and I mean, hell, and then what's the name coming out? And that's not a live service game, but people are gonna be. I mean, if if even if Concord kind of stuck around a little bit, yeah, Call of Duty was coming. Yeah, yeah, and you know what I mean. And that that's not a live service game, but. You that know, shooter that's element, a game that people, yeah, that that people will gravitate mm-hmm. to that, and they got they got some things going on with that game that I gonna see with Call of Duty, not to <laughs> deviate, but you seen where they be like diving and oh doing yeah, all that oh yeah, it's like super movements and stuff, and then they can take people hostage, and they yeah. then they start doing this whole ditty thing, <laughs> and I'm like ah, they they always gotta take something and and, and you know and. <laughs> <laughs> do things with like, why it gotta be inappropriate though. I don't like, you know, know what I mean I like, <laughs> why it gotta be inappropriate <laughs> why you know why you can't just take the game and have fun right. like, why is that your version of fun to do some <laughs> stuff like that like yeah but yeah so with the state of the state of the game and we had some good games, you know, Black Men, Wukong. I don't, I don't, I didn't play it, yeah. I, but I heard good things about it. And we had Stellar Blade earlier. Yeah. Um, what other games that were good this year? Because you know, with the state of the gaming industry, I mean, you got some stinkers. We don't know what Assassin's Creed is going to do. Um, that might not we, do. People well. are shooken up about the. Yeah, because it's you. Is it because it's Ubisoft, or do you think the game mechanics are going to be faulty? I think it's because people are upset that there's a black man as a samurai. Uh, yeah, I, I truly but think. Already... But they then they should have been mad at um. Uh, but nobody plays Samurai Warriors Five. You know, nobody he was in Samurai Warriors Five. Was he? See, they put use K in Samurai Warriors <laughs> Five, like, that, but like I said, nobody really plays Samurai right. Warriors. That's a hack. That's one of them hack and slash. You yeah. know, that game is repetitive, yeah. whatever. Uh, but damn, and and then you know, with Outlaws, Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I we don't both, know. I don't we know. both I don't... were like, we're skipping that. We're not even gonna touch that game. <laughs> I don't know what, what happened. Like I said, I'm not a game, I'm not a game developer. But what happened? Yeah. How you make Far Cry games? And they, I when I play Far Cry games, I didn't experience no bugs like that. I ain't experienced falling through right. the stage right. and all that. They doing. They, I, I feel like it's rookie mistakes. Yeah. Or something yeah. like y'all have y'all been in y'all been a corporation for years. Right. right. Y'all know the game. Yep. How y'all making these kind of mistakes? Yeah. Even if you rushing the game out, you still got you still would have done some cleanup. Right. You know what I'm saying? If some cleanup would have still got done, right. but yeah, I heard that video know, we saw you know, with the guy hitting. Uh, he thought he was doing a sneak attack to one person, and like thirty yeah, people yeah, like popped up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and then like. And then you know with the you know I, and then we bring that up, but I'm, I know we in this year 2024. But then you had other games that came out in the past. You know, bring up like Far Forspoken, right? You know that flopped pretty hard. Even what's the name? And I beat that game. You beat it too, and you enjoyed. I enjoyed it, which was Cyberpunk. You know, when Cyberpunk came out, yeah, it had the worst and launch ever. Were coming through the walls mm-hmm. and all that. Yeah, it's like yeah. damn. It's like. You can't even release a game of good quality, but then you got to because you got to wait months yeah. to get the game, you know, working properly. And that wasn't really necessarily their fault. They, they you know, they not shot callers. They, but the big heads was telling, hey, right, get the right. game out. Hey, 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 hey. Right. So it's like, and my thing is, who do you point the finger at? You know what? <laughs> you know, I'm I'm gonna be the first person to say it. I'm pointing at the corporation. Okay. I'm pointing at the corporation with with double barrel. Yeah, right okay. here, double double barrel, boo boo. Yeah, I see. <laughs> because Cyberpunk developers didn't want to put the game out, but mm. corp the corporation, the big guys, they said let's get this game out there so we can make our funding back. Same thing with um, <clears throat> a city building game called City Skylines Two. The developers mm. didn't want to put the game out; they wanted to push it back, but instead. The big bosses, the people who are funding it, wanted to make their money back. So instead of losing money to make greater money later, they figured putting it out now would just make the money back. So I guess they just wanted to break even. 
I wonder what's the hurry though. Like, I, I get, <laughs> no, I get the, I get, you know, making your money, but why do you want the product out? Before I guess in such a fast pace, because you, I mean, who you could, you're not competing with no, I mean, well, not necessarily like if you put your money and you just wait for the game to be brought out, like, are you trying to, or is you, you got to use that money to pay a bill? Like, you know what I mean? You know, like, oh, I need my money now. Gotta go get that yacht. Because I got to pay this car note, you know, so just rush it out because I got to pay for this sky right. You know what I mean? Who are you paying? Yeah. Like, just wait. You, you just can't wait. Like, you know I mean? They got to get that yacht. Are, are, are you thirsting now? Uh-huh. Like, what's going on, man? I don't understand. Like, oh, I got to pay for this, this this condo, so I need that. I need that that Star Wars right. money now. Yeah. Like, and then when you and then when you don't make your money back because most of them they don't make their money back. Yep. Where do they sit now? You know, how do they do? They sit there twiddling their thumbs. Like, damn, I probably should have listened. You know, like because <laughs> I'm not really a game developer. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I I think it's you know I I think it's along with that because a lot of times we get these people who don't play games who don't know what the fan is looking for and here you go let's release this game (laughs) because it's popular and (laughs) they maybe they are trying to pay a bill i mean you know because you got investors (laughs) like look at look at look at concord uh how many people were investing into that game just for it to fail this hard, and now they have to refund these people. Do these do do those investors yeah, walk away? Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a loss. Like, that's like like putting your money in the stock market. Like, on the way, you know, it's yeah. like I don't know. It's it's a big gamble. I I I I, I it, it 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 frustrates me and I don't have no stake in it because I don't put no money in that. But it frustrates me because it's like you're not learning from past you know events, you know, people right. that rush the stuff out. Right, right. They don't get no return, they don't get what they need, even with movies, like when they, you know, they're mm-hmm. it doesn't do well, like they spend two million, three million dollars, right. and then the crazy thing is Concord. It took eight years to make. Eight years. You know what years. I'm saying? Like, I think that game was supposed to come out before the PlayStation 5, even, or they was working on it right. before the PlayStation 5 even came out. Because PlayStation 5 only been, what, five years? Been five four, years? four years. I guess you can say late 20s. Four or five years, something like that. Yeah. Pandemic time. So it's like, you know, let, you know, just chill. Let it cook. Let let it bake in the oven before you just push yeah. it out there. Because now you're going to gonna make your profit, profit back. Yeah, You're gonna make your like, back. what's the hurry? <laughs> like, like that's what I'm saying. Like, they got some kind of bill that they got to pay or something. Like, it's we, it's weird, man. It's weird, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's such a shame that that game had crashed and burned. Um, yeah. it's the shortest. Uh, that game broke records for the shortest game to uh, come and go. And then you know, yeah. Wukong broke records for. A single player, or well, I don't know if it's because he was single player, but this this style of game that those people was waiting on, and they had mm-hmm. all them people jump on it, and so they broke some kind of record on that, which is crazy. That <laughs> I got game a theory. broke the records, and then this game yeah. broke records, <laughs> and all in the short span of time too. It was like a couple of weeks. <laughs> yep. yep. Not even uh, when did it, you know after you know, that's crazy. Yeah, I think Wukong came out a week before. Um, mm-hmm. But I got a theory with Wukong. <clears throat> The player count that goes up, a lot of it comes from China. <laughs> okay. Okay. A lot of that player count comes from China. China support their games. I don't. I don't. Mm-hmm. I, I. I don't think if China didn't buy that game, I don't think the numbers would be a million players in one day. That's high. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it would okay. be that way. Um, <clears throat> Hopefully no one feels like I'm being an ass saying that, but there's there's if it's a, you know there's if numbers. It's a show. fact. <laughs> if, it's a, if it if it's something that's I mean I mean that there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with supporting your your folks, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. If you're gonna support them, support them. You know, yeah. Um, and that's how it should be. You know, if you can get the you know outside mm-hmm. to come and support, then cool. You got in house. It's in house. That's that's always good, right? 
It'd have been a damn shame if nobody tried to support the game. <laughs> like, we released the game and nobody out here played it. It's like, who we releasing it to, you know? So, so, you know, I, hey, you know. I just wonder how many people are actually beating this game because a, a million people in one day, is it a million people beating it? Like it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be that many people beating it. You know? and, and if it do, you know, it might take them a while. Yeah. Because I've gonna seen people struggle. Yeah. Struggle, struggle, struggle. And they're everybody struggling on different struggling on different bosses. So mm-hmm. it's like supposedly it's supposed to be eighty bosses on there or something like that. Oh, it's a man. lot of little side bosses or whatever. That is, supposedly. That's a lot. But. That's what I heard. I don't know how true that is. Okay. And if, if it is, hey, they probably you probably gonna have to fight certain bosses twice, or they, <laughs> this boss might be a different color or whatever. Kind of like how we used to do back in the day. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, different but, color palettes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Like okay, he did the big head boss was silver last, and now he gold. That means he hit a little bit harder. Like all right, okay, cool. <laughs> um, but that Concord game, you know what? I thought Concord. I didn't think Concord was even gonna be. A battle royale style game, because um, of the cutscenes, right? I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, I seen them at the bar, you know, talking and chilling. I thought it was gonna be like a, um, like Single a player, like or a, what's that? Uh, yeah, something like a, uh, like a Borderlands or 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 uh, uh, yep. listen, it's the Marvel comics, uh, uh, Rocket Raccoon, and uh, like I thought oh, Guardians it was of the Galaxy. Like that. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be something like that where they kind of like going out, you know, different planets or whatever, and right. maybe taking up some bounties. Maybe they're mercenaries. I thought it was gonna be something like that because right, they was right. at the bar chilling, talking and whatnot. And, and then when I seen that it was, or, there was gonna be a battle or hero, what they call a hero shooter. I don't yeah. think they even call it a battle royale. Yeah, call it's it a hero shooter. shooter. I'm like, oh, hero shooter. And I was like, oh, it's one of these games. I was like, oh, all right, it's yeah, it's one of these. So I was like, man, I thought it was gonna be something with a good story, you right? Know? Get these different kind of weapons. The, you yeah. know, hear the banter between the characters right, and right. how the development and all that and stages or you know open world map whatever. And I was like, oh, it's gonna be one of these. And I said, oh, I'm I'm skipping that. <laughs> I'm glad I did. There was no point even buying it. Right. That game. Um. That game. I don't know. They they got to Well, I guess we got to wait on Astro Boy to see what Astro. Oh, excuse me, Astro Bot. Bot. Not Astro Boy. <laughs> that's another. That's another character. Yeah, that's yeah. anime. <laughs> Big red boots. Yeah. <laughs> Astro Bot. I might get Astro Bot. My thing is, what happened to Little Big Planet? I thought Little Big Planet was supposed to be PlayStation. They called it something Sony. else. <laughs> they they started calling it something else, I believe. Oh, um, it was called a uh, Sack Boy Sackboy's Adventures. Big Adventures. Yeah, yeah. Like, what happened to him? I don't know. I, 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 I Astro Bot the new face. I don't know. You know what? Astro Bot looks like. <laughs> it, he looks like a Sony's answer to Mario. I thought. Look, I thought Sack Boy was supposed to be more, uh, the answer to Mario because they went. They went to that whole 3D realm. Mm-hmm. You know, I got the game, and I thought that was going to be, like, their answer to, like, you know, the Mario. Right. I guess they wanted to go to a new, new, you know. I like I Sackboy. Know. Sackboy was pretty cool, man. <laughs> you know, you get to change the little character's costume, mug like, play, you know, it was cool. And right? you know what? It's funny you say that, because Astrobot, I've seen you, you kind of change costumes. I've seen a, a yeah. you turn into Kratos. <laughs> So yeah. I guess I guess Astrobot is just their ramification for Sackboy. They're revamping the whole so. genre, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because it seemed, it looked like a Sackboy game. I'm mm-hmm. like, that's why I'm like, what happened to Sackboy? What happened to that? <laughs> Maybe they closed the studio or some of that doing that portion or something. Maybe it didn't do as well as they thought it would. That what would make be. Astrobot do well if they're pretty much? Because I look at when I I see it, I see Sackboy. Yeah. I don't know. I see, like, I'm asking what happened, like, what's going on? Man, I need to do my research and see what the hell went down. But I'm like, this is pretty much a, a metal sack boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I don't know. I It's it's crazy how this com- these companies can start something and go a different route, and now you, you're sitting there trying to collect the pieces, but... And I, the crazy thing is... This game and it's it'd be crazy if this game sells super well and stuff, and then I'm still gonna be asking, well, what the hell is yeah, Sackboy Sack about? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like nobody supported Sackboy, they're gonna support the Astrobot. Like, why? I mean, what happened with Sackboy? Like yeah. he had his you know, Well, you know what? Sackboy was what? It was uh side scrolling, right? 
Yeah, at first. And then when they did the Sackboy Big Adventure, it was a it 3D went to a 3D plane. platform. It was, you okay. were, it was like um, Mario 3D Land. Right. It was like that. Yeah. yeah, it was a 2D plane at first. You right, know, it was right. kind of you do sideways, you do your arms like yeah. this and all that <laughs> stuff. And it was all side, we screwed over, but it had good elements. And then people can make their own stages. Right. You know, that was the cool thing. People was making yeah. some crazy ass stages. I mean, they, they, the imagination was endless. Then they came, then they had. I know Sackboy or, or Blue Big Planet 3 didn't do as well or whatever mm-hmm. or something like that. Then they had the Sackboy Big Adventure, and then that was it. Right, <laughs> you know, right. I was saying we got after about But <laughs> either way, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, I guess Sack, uh Damn, I was about to say Sackboy. I guess Astrobot would be a great game, and it'll keep the state of gaming alive because I guess you can always say, like, we've had some really great games and some stinkers. And yeah, man. The, stinkers. We uh, we almost had the. What are we? Quarter th- quarter four, quarter three of the of the year. Yeah, three of September. Yeah, we're we're in September. We're we're, we're getting close I'm, to the end. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a still get Astrobot. I'm a still show support. Okay, Got might as support. well. And then space Space Marines right around the corner. I think that's my game of the year. Space that's your Marine. game, Marine. Okay. That's, that's hey, it, and I know we probably won't get nominated. It looked like Gears. It looked like it, a Gears yeah, War. Yeah. They keep, they keep <laughs> saying, Hell Divers, Hell Divers, Hell Divers. Is dying. Once the Space Marines hit Hell Divers, I was like, well, go on and count your blessings. Yeah. Boy, when Space Marines hit. You know, I think Hell Divers has steady stars. dropped car- uh, players, too, so. Man, I think people. I, <laughs> I think after that whole fiasco with with Sony, I think uh, enough people just said, "I'm done with this game." <clears throat> yeah, because I I wonder, I wonder by the end of this year, are we gonna have more bad games than good games? Because we already had Suicide Squad. What else did do? Uh, we had Fe- Rise of the Ronin. Nobody talks about that. game. No one talked. That game had ten Nobody seconds. Nobody talks about that game. That, that game had a little bit. And it kind of just went. It just went away. But you know, it's crazy when you go to GameStop. It's still seventy dollars. I was like, "Well, when is it gonna go set on sale?" You know, nobody talks about it. You Once that game right. came and it went, nobody talks. And it plays just like them Souls like yep. game. Kind of got that Souls like yep. feel, but nobody talks about they it. Must've... And I think because they kept comparing it to Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, Once you yeah. keep comparing the game, oh, it look it it ain't like Go See, it ain't yeah. like this game. That's what hurt it. Yeah, it's all like, oh, it ain't. It it was it was something I think was like graphically it wasn't as good. And yeah. It's supposed to be a PlayStation Five game. Yep. It wasn't as good. Yeah, I yep. think people was mad at the controls maybe or something mm. like that. It was some other complaints here and there, but nobody talks about that game. It's like they ain't talking about Wolong Dynasty. They didn't talk about that game like that. That ain't that didn't come out this year, but that I yeah. think that was last year. Yeah, but that played like a Dark Souls game too. Yeah, Leslie, that game what came else in we had? Nobody really talks about Sandland, but I think people bought that game because of Akuri Akiri, uh, Akiri mm-hmm. Toriyama. I'm sorry, I messed right. his name up. The late, um, and then you know, Cellar Blade came. What else came? It was some other stuff that came. Grand Blue came, but nobody really talks about that game yeah. either. I, I have that game, um, but you know what? No one. It still got issues. No one truly, or at least from my hearing. The only thing Stellar Blade got mentioned for was the censorship, because I didn't yeah, really hear. Feel. Yeah, like I didn't hear like anyone really ramping up how good this game was. I just, I just kept hearing how <laughs> she looked. <laughs> so, and, and and you know what's crazy? I didn't think I. I'm surprised that game didn't break records. Right. Because of it being a female character, I'm surprised that game didn't like, ah, this is a ah, potential yeah. enough to have a game of the year. Blah, 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 blah. They gave it to a monkey. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, the monkey yeah. is cool. The monkey getting wonder, game of the year. That, that's weird how that works. Right. So that your theory might be right. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just, what, what they do on the office, what they do on the. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, it's 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 whatever, man. We Concord, 
Concord is felon. Dustborn is felon. That game, my goodness. Oh, yeah, I heard about that <laughs> game, man. What, what is it, man? They supposed to be like the X-Men or something. What is it? They got I, powers or something. You know like what? Infamous or something. I didn't, I didn't that, see man? any powers. They're, but they're like they're like a rock band. Of, I yeah, guess they're I supposed to be misfits. Hit and they went flying and all that old wild shit. I think you expose your power and you get arrested or something yeah. like that. It was some crazy business, <laughs> man. And they said the dialogue is pretty. I don't know. I seen that game and went right past it. I didn't yeah. know what that was. You know, I I did have some interest because um, it's a cell shading game, and I was like, oh, okay, mm. this might be cool. And then when I saw the infamous scene. The infamous diner scene where the main character was talking to the cop, and he just mm-hmm. blatantly said "black girl" or something like that. Um, <clears throat> she was like, "You're racist," and then he tried to take her to jail. So I was like, "Oh, that doesn't sound like a game I would play." <laughs> but I gotta throw stuff in there. It, it's it's truly a good question <laughs> to ask: Are we going to finish the year with bad games, or are we going to finish this year? But at least two good games. Hopefully, PlayStation and Xbox can make a game at the end of the year that everyone can talk about in a good way. Well, Indiana, Indiana, Indiana Jones, Jones will come out December. So what we got left? We got Sparking is supposed to come out next month. Yep. Is anybody picking up Sonic Generations? Maybe I maybe. don't know. I don't know if that's going to be a big talked about thing. What comes out in November? Does wait? That's sad, I'm missing one. Assassin's Creed come out in November or October? November, I think. Okay, and then December. I don't know what else. Then you got smaller games, but we talking about like we're mainly talking about like AAA or most anticipated. Yeah. I don't know. We might have more whack games this year than we did great games. It's subjective, <laughs> but as far as the masses, yeah. You know, if we might have more booty games <laughs> than we do games that are like gotta do really well so uh assassin's creed shadows is november 15th mm, okay. i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it um i, I like i like that he was running through the walls and yeah stuff. that was tight i thought that I was like cool that. i just <laughs> They can do they can do that one really well. They could if they if they work out the kinks. Hopefully there's no bugs or right. not too many. No Ubisoft. Let's learn bugs. from our mistakes from Star Wars. You know, learn our mistakes because Star Wars is done. Unless they patch it, but it might be too late. Whenever yeah. they have a game and they release it in day one or day week, uh, the, uh, the first week, second week, and then they release a patch later. Yeah. The people are already kind of going to left it. You know, yeah. something else going to came out. You know, right, right. you got to get the attention. The people's attention spans are very small now mm-hmm. because things are coming out. So you got to make sure your, your stuff is cooked and right. ready to go, ready to serve so people can, you know, eat on it for yeah. a while, you know, or, yeah. you know, I, I enjoy think- the flavors and stuff. I think Ubisoft is just really bad at this point because I've been dealing with them maybe January. I've been trying to just reset my damn password, man. <laughs> I just want to, <laughs> I just want to log in and play my damn my Borderlands, not Borderlands. What is it? See, yeah, that's how frustrated I am. I don't even remember the game. <laughs> Whatever, Ubisoft, fix your shit, man. Do it. Man. <laughs> um. The PS5 Pro, is it worth getting the upgrade? I mean, yeah, it's it's pros, man. I don't get the pros. I either go to a slim, like I did each year uh, with the PlayStation Three, mm-hmm. uh, or each I wouldn't say each year, each lifespan or each era. I think that's what I'm using or word I'm supposed to use. I got a slim PS3. I never got a Pro because they had a PS3 Pro and then they mm-hmm. had a PS4 Pro. I never got none of the Pro, so I don't think I'm gonna get this one. Just um, skip it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I might. You know, it depends on how long I had this one because I got you know direct that fat five. Right, right. I had a slim. The slim. I think the slim is only um, digital. I think. Mm-hmm. Well, they added a. So. Uh, you can buy a disc tray. <laughs> you can buy. It. It. <laughs> that's like the switch that's like the switch with the ethernet cord you yeah. gotta buy the ethernet cord nah, i mean the ethernet part but um yeah that kind of sucks um the pro and then you know the pro they they talking about they talking about 700 bands 
Yeah. Yeah, that, I think that's a little no, steep. No. I think that's a little I steep. Know about that, <laughs> I gotta wait on tax season, man. I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta skip a couple of car payments to pay that off. <laughs> I think if, uh, <laughs> I think if, I think what would make this truly worth your <clears throat> 700 it has to run 4K truly, not upscaled. It has to run 120 frames, not fluctuating. And I, I don't think put it on performance and quality mode. I don't think that should be your savior because 700 for a what a, a small upgrade. I don't I don't think. Man, it would I'm truly be worth dollars. I better be able to play PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, PlayStation Three, PlayStation Four <laughs> games. I need to play all that shit. Man. That's that's seven hundred. It better come with an enormous terror. It got to come with like four terabytes, four terabytes, eight terabytes of just, <laughs> of just a limited save. Yeah, and that's extreme. Seven hundred. Y'all, y'all should get the elite controller with it. Might as well get man. <laughs> no, what is it called? The elite that's controller whatever. like a hundred dollars is damn stuff. So, I think like one twenty five. Yeah. <laughs> they need they, to come they with. They tripping. I don't know. They need I, to come with the damn I, PlayStation Portal too. Is that supposed to drop next year or or maybe or something like that? I'm it's, not sure. It's still in talks. In yeah, it's still talking about it um, because so far it's you know just rumor mill and uh, yeah, you know it's it's called the dual dual sense <laughs> edge the controller I was talking about. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Shit. Um, Damn, yeah, GameStop that can stay. It. That can stay. That can stay up there. It's two hundred yep. for Best Buy. That's crazy. Yep, they can keep it. <laughs> it better come with that PS Five Pro because I can. It can keep that. Uh, and it's 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 crazy because the PS Five. They earlier this year they announced that it was at its end of life cycle, mm. and it's like what 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 does that mean? How is it ending this soon? Usually we get. What another system every six seven years? Damn near eight years. So it's like, how can you just already want to upscale it? They changing the game without even giving more games. I think what? How many games came out this year? Four, five. You probably count them on your hand. <laughs> you probably count them on your hand. So. Just to put this out, and then four years later, your your next plan is to sell a better system for a system that's already pretty good. Let's be honest, PlayStation Five runs really good. It it's it what it runs every every not every game at sixty, but I mean for console <laughs> players, that's an upscale to go past thirty frames. So yeah, why even? try to upgrade now instead of just making better games for everybody to play. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Gotta love the questions. Right? We just need answers for those questions. That's all. I just like some answers. You know? <laughs> but if, uh, like I said, I think to make it truly worth your money, I think it has to be 4K. It has to run 120 frames. Um, of course, depending on your TV, there's VRR, but that's a variable refresh rate. Um, it, it has to be the standard at this point, because like I said, on the box, when I bought my PS5, it said 8K and (laughs) who, who playing in 8K? (laughs) How can you prove it? How can you prove it? How can you prove that? I don't even know what AK look like. I can't tell. Oh my gosh. It is I just think it's mind boggling and it's I think it's hilarious how companies can do stuff like this, like Xbox, Sony. That's why at the end of the day, get a play, get a PC. (laughs) PC? These prices, I might as well go get a PC. (laughs) It's seven hundred dollars. 
Shit. At that price, I you definitely should. Yeah, raw ally think about, and all that. Shit. You definitely Steam should start going. thinking about what you're gonna do because you you just bought the PlayStation for what five hundred, and now another two hundred. <clears throat> you're about to buy a system that what barely has any up, updates upgrades to it. That's like any more exclusives too. Yeah, yeah. That's like Sony going from the Switch exclusive. to the Switch OLED. <laughs> well, you know what? They don't necessarily need exclusives anymore. I think is I think exclusives are dead. I think this is the year of that's yeah, I mean, kind of proving it. The, Xbox is leaving, just jumping ship. You only got Switch, so I mean, mm-hmm. Switch can't really like because <laughs> Mortal Kombat didn't look all that good over. with Mortal Kombat one. <laughs> Uh, start that little part over. I caught. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I don't, I don't think um, the the exclusives really matter much um, because you know Xbox is pretty much jump ship. Right. They they're not in the game. Well, as according to what they've been saying, it seems like they're not gonna be in the game no more. And no pun intended, but <laughs> it's the game. So it's like they only got the switch to worry about, so they yeah. don't necessarily need because I mean they're gonna make their games anyway, right, and right. then the switch is gonna make their game. You know they're gonna throw their Mario's and Donkey right. Kong's and all that stuff. You right, know? right. That's their exclusives. And then if they still got what's that game? Uh, 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 uh what's the name of that game? Damn, they were on Smash Brothers, Roy and 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 Ike and damn, what's the Fire? Emblem? Oh, Fire, Fire yeah, Emblem. Fire Emblem. They got Fire Emblem and you know Pokemon. If you mm-hmm. know, they decide to do another Pokemon game. I think they should do another Pokemon tournament. You know, to make a Pokemon too. Yeah, Pokemon was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, 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 um if they ever bring out a Mario Kart Nine, because we got what eight. We have been running with eight. So, yeah, they they rebirth eight. So I mean, you know. They got their stuff. Um, PlayStation can just PlayStation just meet. They need to get with Sucker Punch, make another Ghost of Tsushima if they can, mm-hmm. or get another Infamous game. They need some superhero games, man. Not too many superhero games anymore. That's true. That's uh, very true. Uh, uh, like another prototype or something, you know, something like that. It don't yeah. even have to be prototype. Well, I mean, they got Spider Man. I'm sorry, that's a superhero game. I'm talking like Spider Man is a non factor, you know, but Spider Man was just one. Game. I mean, instead of making Concord, they could have yeah, had yeah. a pick of the litter with their games. I'm telling you, Concord <laughs> should have been a story based type of game where you play with your friends, y'all do missions, y'all go on little hunts or whatever, go to different planets or whatever the case may be. And they could have did something with that, something extra with it or something like that. It shouldn't have just been a hero game yeah, or a hero shooter, or whatever. It, they shouldn't have been an Overwatch. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't don't do another one don't do don't don't sometimes you got to stay in your lane right sometimes right. you got to stay in your lane i don't think they should have did your single like player that. ips are what makes your money yeah they could have been a single player could have been a a, 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 a a like brute for remember that game brute force it could have mm-hmm. been something like that you know you command your squad go over there and they right. run over there or whatever you know and it could have or it could have been a multiplayer game whatever they shouldn't have been a hero shooter well technically that's a multiplayer game but you know what i mean co-op <laughs> with friends against yeah. the computer and shit uh, like campaign that. it should have had a campaign for sure mm-hmm. it, campaign it or something i'm telling you that looked like it should have had a campaign and with them three characters you could have worked something with it mm-hmm. you know they could have worked something down they, i think it's just laziness too they don't want to write no stories <laughs> or they don't want to pay nobody to write no stories or something they can't get no good stories man or something man <laughs> it has some good humor, you know. Whatever, you know. I don't know. It's a, it's a lot with that game because it wasn't uh, it wasn't a lot of this game is bad. A lot of the talk for that game was how the characters look and how. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, they was <laughs> a lot of people were talking about how the characters look. They didn't want to play as a fat chick. <laughs> They didn't want to play as a fat chick. They didn't want to play as a, a lesbian wizard. I don't even know what the hell she was, but um, that's they, crazy. They didn't want to play as the 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 green guy. I don't. Know, I guess he was just an alien with a life vest. That's what he looked like to me. They didn't. Yeah, people didn't want that. People didn't want the woke part of gaming. So, 
Whatever. Little fat chick, I would have been playing with the fat girl, man. You know what I'm saying? You never know, man. She might be the best character on the game. You don't even know. It. Hey, I mean, you know? I remember in uh, Street Fighter Four. Uh, what's the guy's name? Rufus. Oh yeah, Rufus. the biker dude. Yeah, I seen people play with him, and he yeah, was doing yeah. like all type of moves. Like he flipped yeah, all across he the screen. Yeah, he was doing- <laughs> yeah, I mean, people play with Yondo, Big Self, Yondo's most cheap character. Dog tied. Dog, oh, dog tied. Yeah. I don't. I. Shit. I guess it's. Yeah, I, you know. Time. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just that because we've had small elements of this stuff already, but now yeah, that yeah. now it, it seems like politics are in your video game and. Yeah, too people, much. People don't want that. Even though yeah. there, are, there are a lot of people who talk only about polit- politics in your video game and not about how good games are. But yeah. <laughs> on that note, I don't want to make this video too long, even though it's already long. This has been another episode of Cross Talk. I am Lamar Bridges. We got Cross, Cross Game Gaming. 39, baby. Oh, yeah, we're 39, man. 39 with it. Nice. You can uh, catch us on our social medias. I'll put everything on the link. Oh, also, do you want your YouTube channel at the description? Oh, yeah, I got it. I got to send you that stuff. I think it's the same. Yeah. But I got to send it to you. Yeah, yeah, I can put it on there. I'll send it to you. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, Got 10 seconds. You want to say anything? (laughs) Peace out. And uh, hopefully y'all don't melt. This has been hot. It's hot. It's nighttime. And it's hot. <laughs> 8 o'clock at night. And I still feel like the sun is on my back. It's on his so, back. Uh, y'all, stay, y'all stay cool. Um, the heat wave is almost over. Um, drink water. And don't talk to strangers. There you have it. <laughs> peace. All right, peace. <laughs>